Hey everybody, it's Harjint from 3 Tier Investing. Thank you for joining us for another video. If you haven't already, please go ahead and like and subscribe. It costs you nothing, but it means everything to us. Show some support. But let's go ahead and talk about today's topic, which is going to be investor mindset. So this is a topic that I think about a lot because I feel like a lot of investors aren't mentally prepared for what it takes to become an investor. Now, what I mean by that is it's very taxing, right? When you first become started, it's everything you want to do. You want to sit there. You want to make your money. You want to bank those profits. Go tell everybody you're getting a Lamborghini, right? That mentality of trading is very addictive. Uh, and that only occurs when you first start making money. But the issue comes but the issue comes when losses start to occur. And that's completely normal as an investor. You're going to lose some money. My mentor has a saying that every billionaire has lost millions. Every millionaire has lost hundreds of thousands. So the reason behind that is you have to lose a little bit to learn from that situation. A good investor is somebody who has made mistakes, learns from it, and uses that knowledge to make better skilled traits. In that situation, a lot of newbies do not find that same level of support when they're first getting started. They don't really know about the downfalls that come that come with investing. Uh, and that's one of those things that we want to mitigate by making this video. So let's go ahead and get started with it. Number one on the list of how to become a better trader mentally is by paper trading. Now, what exactly is paper trading? It's a term that's used when you make plays or you make trades without using real money. Now, there's a number of ways to do this. If you have an iPhone or an Android, there are a number of applications on your respective App Store and Play Store that you can download. Now, keep in mind, generally, when it comes to playing options, you're not going to have as many opportunities to download applications. But if you just want to practice buying and selling shares of a stock, you can absolutely do that through these apps. However, if you want to get a little bit more advanced and join a brokerage, which you're going to be using long term, what we recommend is Thinkorswim, which is the name of the application by TD Ameritrade. So Thinkorswim is a very, very powerful piece of software. It allows you to do charting analysis. It gives you news information, and it essentially gives you everything you need to trade either stocks, options, Forex, or futures. Now, keeping that in mind, it's also important to note that Thinkorswim is a little bit complex, but within that comes this beautiful feature called simulated trading. Now, through Thinkorswim, you have the ability to play any previous day in the market by actually using this function. What it'll do is it'll replicate that market day live second by second. What this does is it gives you the opportunity to take your practice, apply it in a real world simulation without using real money. Now, you get a practice account, you can use paper money, and it gives you $200,000 in your account. This is a great way for you to see how trading works, how to place an order, and how to actually react during the market day. Doing so will give you the skills and the practice you need to become a confident trader without av actually having to use your real money. And that is gold when you think about the experience you get. Secondly, the most important thing to do is practice proper risk management. What I personally use is a 10%, 30% rule. So I only use up to 10% of my overall portfolio for options plays. And within any of those plays, I set a max stop loss of 30%. By only using 10% of your portfolio and then setting a 30% stop loss, what that does is it limits or sets a bar at the max you can lose to 3% of your portfolio. A lot of times what we see is that people only trade for the fun of it and the risk, but they don't think about the long-term gains. If you want to be a long-term trader, you have to play with a long-term strategy. Thirdly, I recommend always taking mental breaks. Trading every single day of the week can actually be more negative for your account than it can be positive. By taking breaks, what you do is you allow yourself to regather your thoughts, get rid of that adrenaline rush that can cloud your judgment, and it allows you to take a break, get some rest, and get back into the market. See, the trick to trading is not about how much time you spend, but about how easy you make it. That's why we always refrain from using too many technical indicators, from making too many trades in a day, because trading is the hardest way to make easy money. So make sure that if you have a bad day, take a break for the rest of the day. Don't revenge trade at all. And that is actually number four. Number four being don't revenge trade. Now, what exactly does that mean? It means that you start making plays to make back the money that you've lost. Usually what happens is that you end up losing even more money, making your day worse, your mood worse, and that can end up ruining your trading career. Now, personally, I had a very strong loss back in March of 2020. And the thing that helped me the most was to put in place my simulated trading, 
taking a break from real trading and allowing myself to learn more about the fundamentals. On that note, I did want to mention that 3-Tier Investing has just launched their educational course. We cover everything from the basics of how the stock market works to the intricacies of options trading, Greeks, understanding how to place a trade, how to do technical analysis, and how you can use all of these strategies to start building money for yourself day to day as a trader. Combining all of these four points will allow you to be the best trader you can be mentally and financially. You don't want to trade hard. Rather, you want to trade smart. Look for opportunities, be patient, and only look for winners. Make sure your gains are big and your losses are small. By setting a stop loss, you can mitigate any potential to absolutely lose all of your money in a trade. And what that does is it helps you perform better. And a better performing trader is a happier trader. With that said, if I've made any mistakes, I do sincerely apologize. Please let us know in the comments if you'd like topics about anything else. If there's anything we can do to help you, please feel free to DM us. If you haven't, once again, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Keep trading, keep learning, keep growing. Thank you.